Slipshot is the first miracle to get on common ban list. I should note, by the way, that Homing Boost is listed on Vanilla TV Tropes as a game breaker, because Vanilla TV Tropes still does not care about genuine TLC. I covered why weapon modifiers are responsible for the misconception with mm, Homing Boost, and weapon modifiers are the root cause with, here with Slipshot as well, as I will get into. But anyway, Slipshot is another miracle buff where the user fires shots from that pass through walls. And that's right, Slipshot has the user's projectiles ignore defilate. It's bypassing a basic gameplay function intended for protection. That's powerful, and that's not even getting into how the projectiles can bypass the floor, which can be used with homing boosts for burrowing attacks and to put easier pressure on the reflex barrier as I will display now. Yeah, the neutral shot does not pass through the floor. Neither does the forward shot, but with slip shot. Yeah, that's a thing of, of the past, and. Yeah, let's display about the burrowing shot. <laughs> yeah, case in point about the burrowing shot. And that can put easier pressure on reflex barrier with stronger homing than that. Is. Now, the floor bypassing does effectively shorten the button range of attacks affected by gravity mm -hmm, and working off of bouncing uh, for obvious reasons, but plenty of weapon types don't involve that, and that includes key weapon types. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> by the way, clubs other than Atlas and Magnus club at the slip shot property on the neutral shot by, by nature, but not on the dash shots, so the clubs can still use the slip shot to use the purpose, although the standard clubs will struggle to get mileage on the slip shot miracle because of the low velocity on dash shots. A latless club isn't a standard club. Although, I can charge up. Yeah, yeah. The back shot and velocity is rather mediocre to say the least. This thing that come back again, and I swear. But anyway, as, as I indicate, um, Slipshot can even be paired with Autodetical. In the aforementioned combination um, on Nintendo's tips and tricks video, the bypass need for sight when vision inhibiting walls are involved. And, and yeah, usefully a telly there. Be able to aim at two targets. Um, yeah. Uh, oh. Let's bring up the critical reason why I should become so glad that I was already against unnecessary banning of Slipshot before I realized everything involving Black Hole. And I was against the banning then too, because Slipshot is a siege tool to disrupt camping without needing so much area of area control, like the Simon Cannon shot. If you don't get it, Slipshot on multiplayer requires one charge per level. Mm-mm. Not enough for you? Well, what if I told you about its miracle box shapes? Level 1 is an L shape, extending 5 spaces anti-clockwise, and 4 spaces clockwise from the corner. Level 2 is also an L shape, extending 5 spaces in both directions from the corner. And level 3 is an extension of the level 2 shape, adding a singular space edge on the clockwise end, so it... Wait a minute. It's not a more extended L shape? Well, that would be impossible when level 2 requires a full row and column. We can't exactly... Oh! Yeah, here's the simple answer. <laughs> level 2 and level 3, for multiple charges of the defilade ignoring, immediately contradict any miracle shape requiring at least a full line. Even level 1 slipshot will force a miracle requiring a full line to be parallel to the anti-clockwise portion of the slipshot. Shape. Say that five times fast, by the way. So far, we have seen this be compromising with Super Speed and Mega Laser, and there's additional miracles where this will matter, where this will prove important as well. Level 1 Slipshot even contradicts the 2x6 rectangle, which means Reflex Barrier can't be level 4 here, and neither can Mega Laser for that matter. Oh, and in case you don't get it, Level, uh, level Auto Radical also requires a full line, meaning that at least either Slipshot or Auto Radical has to be level 1. Minimum level 2 for both is simply not happening on this quickly known combination. 
This is also show that Effect Duration Plus is practically one of the more checked and balanced weapon modifiers. Granted that that's not been saying much, but I need to point out that yes, Effect Duration Plus would potentially make it easier to have autoreticals mistaken as being at a level higher than it really would be. But then Slipshot and its consistent base duration for charge in 16 seconds, of course, would last longer at 21 seconds and consequently expose the presence of effect duration plus to a more attentive player. That's really the essential thing to keep in mind. Information Warfare. Because I can also point out that Slipshot also effectively limits other miracles to a 5x5 five by five, five area. So as opposed to the four center spaces, there will be only one, meaning that miracles with chunky shapes in particular will basically be fighting for scraps. It is true that Slipshot itself is still going to be able to cause plenty of problems while it is up and running. You can say the same with military area infantry in life, which work with reconnaissance and local battle management via airspace control. But anything too much more active will surely invite unto themselves this novel concept called anti-air missiles that in real life aren't exactly the jokes that they are in the Advanced Force games. Here, Slipshot doesn't directly provide defenses. Bypassing terrain cover can just as easily be a mere band-aid as soon as the distance closer and result in encirclement become a consistent threat. So it wouldn't do any good against black hole usage, something that is also point with subtle buff miracles like homing boost and autopedical, but it's even more important with Slipshot. Slipshot also has a high display priority, and so few other buff miracles didn't even try to mask it in the first place. We will see those buff miracles, but yeah, not yet. We haven't seen any yet. And anyway, it further emphasizes it painting a target on the user. In the end, Slipshot does not nullify the opponent's terrain usage for free, but merely creates the involvement of intel in a field of combat where that is built to be about intel management. Remember folks, complacency is a killer.